I'm here at the Ball Gardens in Chicago and it is absolutely stunning here. I've seen so many incredible things and so many beautiful things. It's hard to sum it all up, but what I'll do is I'll insert a bunch of footage as I'm talking because who wants to see this space anyways? And I want to tell you instead the top three things that I saw here that I'm dying to try at home next year. You guys know I love a good money saving tip in the garden and this is genius. Behind me, these planters are not actually planters, but they are chimney inserts. They're made, oh my God, they're made out of a durable ceramic material, but they're not priced or sold in your regular garden section. Instead, you're going to look for chimney inserts and they're a much more affordable way to add beautiful height in the garden for relatively inexpensive. So if you're looking to add a lot of containers to your garden, this is a really gorgeous way to add a lot of containers without spending a lot of money. Another thing that I want to recreate when I get home is creating edible hanging baskets. Let me give you a close-up of the varieties planted here and they just look so good. I'm not a huge fan of the upside down topsy-turvy tomato things. Those don't really work, but this works. I was just blown away by how much color these brought. I'm pretty sure some of these varieties had more fruit on them than leaves. Of course, I sacrificed one for the team and had to ensure that they were not just beautiful, but also delicious. And I can attest they are super tasty. Another thing that I really want to try in hanging baskets next year are cucumbers. I mean, look at how wonderful these cucumbers look, and I bet it makes for an easier harvest than trying to climb all the way up my trellis to get them. The variety is Patio Snacker, and they are burpless. Apparently, most new varieties are burpless, which means they're not as bitter as the heirloom varieties. So this is one that I'm going to be looking for and trying to grow in this fun container basket style. It's snack, which is a variety that we have in our kitchen minis, is like a perfect choice for hanging baskets. If I could single-handedly change the world and make people grow cucumbers mm -hmm. in hanging baskets, I think my life accomplishments would be, you know, met and then, yeah, I can retire. Especially our varieties that have more compact vines, they're perfect for hanging baskets. And lastly, this glorious slice of heaven behind me is the perennial gardens. They're incredible. I just, there are no words and it's really hard to pick just one favorite perennials because you guys know, Perennials are my jam. So I'm going to pick the one that I thought stood out to me the most and the one that I'm going to be really looking for this year because of its flower power and it's just incredible performance. And just so you don't think this was an easy decision to narrow down this amount of perennials to just one perennial that stood out to me, here is just the sheer number of beds and perennials that are planted here at the Ball Gardens. It was absolutely incredible. There were beds dedicated to just agastaches, beds that were new introductions, beds just dedicated to echinacea, beds with perennials from Walter's Gardens. It was, it was really hard to just pick one perennial. So let me show you the perennial that I am adding to my wish list this year. So of all the perennials that I've seen today, the one that stood out to me is this one behind me. This is Glow Stick Nephophia. It's hardy to zone six. It has this absolutely beautiful grassy texture, but also it has incredible flower power. So this is a later blooming variety of Nephophia, and it just keeps on blooming. So once it starts, and I'm going to show you how many new buds are back there. Once it starts, it pretty much doesn't quit until the first frost. So this would be incredible late summer, fall interest. It is just a very, very striking yellow color. And yellow is so versatile in the gardens because it goes with your hot colors, like your reds and your orange, but it also goes with more cool tone colors like your purples. I mean, I basically think of it as a neutral. So maybe not with pink, but almost every color and your golden. The way that I would think about adding this to the garden is basically wherever I needed some grassy texture, instead of a grass, I would just be adding this Nephophia. The issue with other Nephophias, it's kind of like one big show and done but this one has that prolonged flower power so of all of the perennials that i've seen in this incredibly striking garden this is the one that i'm adding to my wish list so if you are a nursery owner please add this to your shelves because i would love to support you and buy up all of them well maybe not all of them but i'll leave you some but i'll buy up some 
Here's a close up of all of the many buds and you can see them kind of popping up at different stages and that's going to give that prolonged show. So even though it's absolutely gorgeous now, this show will continue into the fall. Unlike other varieties which look pretty ragged after they're done blooming that one time. Another thing that excited me about this variety is that it actually won a perennial distinction award at the UGA trial gardens. I'm an Atlanta gardener and I look for things that grow well in my zone. So when I I see a plant that does well and trialed well at the University of Georgia, it gives me a little bit more confidence that it'll grow well in my garden. That's one tip that I like to share if you're a gardener that's kind of starting out. One way that I like to pick perennials and be a little smarter or feel more confident in my decision is to look for a trial garden and see which plants won awards and try to pick from those to start with. There are trial gardens all over the country, so likely there's one in your zone, in your area, and those trial gardens are going to be in a very similar soil and conditions to the ones that you grow in. So if you're trying to find varieties to plant in your garden, I always encourage people to start there and look to see what grew well in trial gardens. I hope you're inspired to look for some of these things to add to your garden next season. Let me know in the comments if there's something that you're gonna be trying for next season. Also, let me know if you're able to find these varieties locally because there's, these are good.